Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritually Gina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. Today I have for you guys a message you need from your intuition. First, I am cleansing the space, setting the tone, clearing all negative energy, and curating a sacred space for this reading to take place in. So we have two pals here. We have pal one, smoky quartz, beautiful. And also pal two, smoky quartz. So pick whichever quartz you are most drawn to. Timestamps will be in the description box down below as always. And also the, the description box has all the details as to how you can work with me personally, one on one. And now to your readings. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings, Paul Ones. This will be for if you chose the for the first um, smoky quartz. This will be your message from your intuition. All right, so just hopping right on in here. We'll be taking a look at your masculine aspect, your feminine aspect, and then the message from your intuition. And I hope, by the way, that never my God, whenever my, um, there it is, my vents turn on, I just get kind of irritated. I like, like the heat, you know, but I hate the sound of the vents. Comment down below if you also hate the sound of vents or if you like the sound of the vents in your house. I personally cannot stand them. <laughs> All right, so the masculine aspect, please. Thank you. We have the Ten of Swords, the feminine aspect. This Ten of Swords here, it feels heavy but in almost a light way <laughs> it doesn't make any sense right um it just feels that this is something that's needed here this is something that's needed and it's for your overall growth and overall strength of character all right oh uh, we had two coming out for your feminine aspects i'm going to put them back in and just shuffle a couple more times again wow we guys are just all confused on your feminine side so i'm going to take that one we have another wand the wand here makes me feel very very like tight in my stomach area tight in my solar plexus area you may be feeling not even a lack of self-confidence or just questioning a lot of things around you being like it almost feels slightly ungrounded but in the sense that like it's almost like you need this period of heaviness you need this period of ungroundedness you need this period of scattered energy to come back into full alignment um with whatever so this is almost like a trial that you definitely are going through or you, that you may be thinking you're going through uh but it's really to bolster your like to bolster your spirit it just feels i feel that you feel exhausted i feel that you feel uh, just kind of over things, slightly irritable, slightly irritated, and some intuition, please. And a little, not downtrodden, but just over it is the feeling that I'm feeling, like just not wanting to like, yeah, exactly, we have judgment here. Judgment is like the ong, the angel, the angel. He comes to find deep inner truth and i feel that that's what you're looking for deep inner truth possibly ring the pros and cons of situations that you are in wondering just being exactly the hangman is perfect card to describe your energy just very like searching being like burdened but also being kind of like in this okay place or at least, uh, at least approaching an okay place so the overall message from your intuition is that this will take time. The situation that you're in is not something that will change overnight. Um, you can change how you feel about it and work from that. You can concentrate your energy into something that is not saying that the situation is without hope. But what it is saying is that it is peace attained through suffering almost and peace attained through connecting more with your inner truths, with your inner self. Um, knowing that there is an opening happening and you can take advantage of it. So it's like the opening can be seen as negative and negative or positive. And for you, I feel that it's like, it's an upward trajectory that it's putting you on, but it just, for the, in the moment, 
it's like, exactly you're emerging from matter you're emerging from a specific place that just feels like i don't know it feels really interesting what i'm feeling right now um you just have this raw desire or truth that's coming through that you are honoring honestly these cards here feel quite difficult to read and i feel that like this is more so about your ego self you are like deep beliefs that you have within yourself um because the wands here speak about the spirit it speaks about um who we are as people besides our mental self besides our emotional self it talks about our spiritual self even the parts of ourselves that we can't see at this time so i feel that you're discovering those parts of yourself but again it feels like you feel like very heavy or you you can feel that you are very heavy but really you're not i mean you are but you aren't in a certain sense um i want to get some clarification i want to use here um definitely wasn't going to do this but i want to use my vision quest to row to get some clarification um we're going to clarify all we're going to do why not right i always do two but we're going to do a full reading summation so do a summation of this reading please with three cards a summation of how one reading the three cards here all right coming out immediately we have the son of air all right son of air um i think that's the sorry this deck is sort of annoying for doing that Ten of air but it is based on those true father of air mother of air son of air daughter of air so this is the knight of swords that's what i thought i mean it had the horse there but still <laughs> all right clarify the feminine aspect please so knowing that you do have the solutions deep inside of you but it's not necessarily found through impulsive action. It's found through well thought out action. Action that comes from an, a deeply, a sense of deep orientation, um, a sense of deeply knowing who you are and what you want is what this is denoting, what shift this is. Yeah, it feels like you're in this very like blossoming place. Um, are very blooming place and there's still truths to be found out as well you have daughter of fire we have a lot of like hot masculine energy here and we have like, literally i was saying we have a lot of hot masculine energy here this is clarifying and then leo energy coming in could be a fire sign or have fire prominent in your chart either way this is about coming literally integration integrating parts of yourself listening to your heart i mean we all know these things you all like know that we're supposed to be doing that but it's actually putting it into action at times that could be a bit hard and this is the page of of wands in the sun so the we have here clarifying the knight of swords the sun and also the page of fire or page of wands it's okay not to have it may seem scary i just feel like with you guys you're so timid you're so like not trusting of yourself not trusting of your intuition not trusting and it's like it makes it hard to say anything because that's what i'm feeling and then like trust and i do trust myself you know but i'm picking up on you guys' energy and it just feels like i don't trust myself i don't believe in myself or like something along those lines like not having um Just trust in yourself basically but it, it goes deeper than that almost like faith and belief in yourself as well i think this sun here is highlighting self-confidence highlighting your intellectual progress as well as your ability to take risk your ability to go beyond um your ability to go into the unknown And I feel that something has fundamentally changed you or will soon fundamentally change you. I just feel the sense of grandeur, like grandiose or grandeur energy. Something seemingly, you know, 
I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Empathy. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And the saying, I deeply love and accept myself completely also comes to mind. And I want to do one more here. Honestly, your intuition is a bit hard to read for me. I said fire, but you can also have Pisces prominent somewhere in your chart. So I know I commonly get issues with reading Pisces energy. So something about you guys. Or it could be a water sign in general. I mean, we have literally all the signs on the board, but I really do feel like more so of a Pisces energy here, perhaps. Fire sign, uh, possibly Aries. Anywho, we have perception. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard... Literally, this is how I feel. It's like you're moving towards the edge of what you know to be real, and you're also like fundamentally like shifting that as well and going in and like changing what you think to be real taking a deep look at what's real and what's not real in your life all right so i hope this reading has helped you and knowing that you have the free will to do that and you can do that with empathy thank you so much for watching uh please make sure you like comment subscribe and i hope to see you guys back here again soon thank you so much for watching Namaste. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings, pal twos. This will be for if you chose the beautiful smoky quartz. This will be your reading. Um, a message you need from your intuition. So we'll be taking a look at your masculine aspect, feminine aspect, and also the message from your intuition, the main message from your intuition. So I'm just like, I have so much stuff up here. Um, and yeah, I need this. I have, some. anyways, anyways, <laughs> starting your reading now masculine aspect please a message from the masculine aspect all right so we have here the eight of pentacles this is sun and virgo i believe sun exalted and the beautiful sign of virgo um the little mundane things method methodically going about things having a plan of action knowing that it's almost like the phrase slow and steady runs the race from um, the Taurus and the hair. Then we have the moon, Pisces energy. I don't know what sign Pisces is ruled by, but I know it's like one of the outer planets. That dreamy energy, the full moon energy, energy of the full moon. And message from intuition, please. I'm just gonna pick I like picking ones I don't think it is that's more fun to me all right so we have here the hangman all right so the message from your intuition oh it's so weird how we have action here but then we have the hangman that begs you to slow down that begs you to not necessarily not move forward but to get like to get your ducks in a row to straighten your beliefs out to come into a new sense of of harmony with yourself and we have the six of wands on the bottom of the deck so the overall message from your intuition is that a different perspective is needed um one that is found in deep meditation or while deeply um immersed in a project or something it's like there's a need to deeply immerse yourself in a specific space in order to facilitate a change. So it's like you need to come, you can only come into alignment with whatever deep truth this is by going deeper and deeper into your intuition, by going deeper and deeper into possibly a project that you are doing or finishing at this time. And thus you need to create a specific space that um that supports i'm gonna have to drink a water you need to create a specific space 
that supports this expansion all right you need to create a specific space that will allow you to expand you have bottom of the deck here six of swords excuse me six of wands queen of cups two of wands and this would be by the power of your will by attaining emotional clarity emotional depth here with the eight of cups so this feels it feels very methodical it feels very thought out but not in a way that is scientific but very intuitive so like the, literally your intuition is asking you to listen to your intuition by creating a space that allows you to listen to your intuition <laughs> so your intuition is almost like it's almost it feels like that one movie um inception i think it is i literally haven't seen it but it, it's kind of like a mirror within a mirror within a mirror within a mirror it's like when you're standing um between two mirror mirrors that are facing each other how it's just like an endless amount of mirrors that's what it feels like there's like this this endless amount of like potential surrounding you or something but i mean all of us has that right but for you guys in particular it's like a sacred space is needed is really what's being said here um a way to unravel your intuition completely is needed a way to unravel your inner voice is needed clarify this eight of pentacles please we have negative thinking so we have the ten of air we have the ten of swords here ten of swords is about completion all right um so with whatever with whatever project you're working on or whatever um this eight of pentacles is talking or denoting to knowing that the mind must achieve unity with the heart um and in this case i'm sorry i'm looking at the eight of eight of uh pinnacles here the balance that you are seeking is found not just in the material world but also in the mental state the mental state is being highlighted here with this ten of air thank you we have the eight of air so we have some quite challenging cards here that you may be facing. And it does feel like it's more so in like the, what we consider to be negative polarity, meaning like lack of trust, faith, etc., And intuition clarifying this hangman, please. literally i chased them to find the one i want all right and we have literally we have all air all air here all swords here so very very much in your head needing to like drop a little bit deeper into your heart and knowing that you will be able to manifest well this is about really wanting to manifest literally i was gonna say abundance um and yeah I feel the sense of effortlessness and ease looking at these cards, even though they're like negative or like what we perceive to be negative. I just feel the sense of ease that you need to like align to. And again, creating a space in which that's possible for you to practice that vibration in so you can carry it out into your everyday life, into your everyday world. We have doubt. Exactly. I release the need to know all the answers. And one more, please. Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And literally, it's the only way we can learn in this particular realm. I mean, not the only way, but like the best way is through challenge. Whether it be difficult or just in general. An overall message from intuition for my second pal. Honestly, these readings have been more like really interesting. They've been very like reflective. Um, I guess that's the purpose, right? Intuition is very and very reflective. So we just choose from the top. We have transition. 
The frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence, our lives, so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to recur with ease. And Literally, I was saying with ease, you need ease, you need ease. Ease and grace, yes. And we do have the root chakra with the sacral chakra on the bottom of the deck here. So that's very interesting. We have two chakras there. Um, so I hope this reading serves you. I hope you like this reading. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and all of my other social media. Everything you need to know is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. And again, please like, comment, subscribe. Namaste.